Help support the companies that support our community.
this is one of those projects where you just kind of got to keep tinkering with it until you get everything to fit. There aren't any plans with it, so I just kind of kept sanding it until the arms looked right. What I did is just try and proportion them to the, the body piece, and I used regular wood glue. And for the little dowels there, they're just skewers I grabbed out of the kitchen. They're barbecue skewers. And the one, the umbrella one here in a little bit, that's just a larger skewer. But it's just kind of, just kind of tinker around with it to get everything to fit. It's, you know, like the hand, I just sanded on it until it looked like a hand. So this project Robin found on Pinterest and the website was in German and it was a store. It wasn't the, I, so I don't have the name of whoever actually makes them, but it was, she just fell in love with it. Our anniversary was yesterday. So she asked me if I would make this. So I'm going to give it to her for an, our anniversary. <laughs> She goes, you can't put it up for sales. You fell in love with it. The arms are oak. The body is maple. And the head's actually maple, too. They're just a little bit different uh, different colors. So on the body, I used one solid piece of, or one, out, it's all out of the same piece of wood. But because the body is cross grain and the hat and the umbrella are in grain, that's why the color looks a little bit different on them. And I just finished all those with, with doctors. It, it's uh, the little purse. She it, on the picture, the one we saw, had a purse, had the umbrella, had everything we have there. It actually had a little flower on the hat. I didn't do that though. That was the only thing. And so, as far as when I was going through the whole process. There are certain pieces I didn't oil on the lathe, and that was because I was going to have to glue them together later, like the inside of the hat, the inside of the umbrella, things like that. And the reason I cut the neck off um, was because in the picture, there were they had three of them there, and the heads were turned a little bit different in each picture. So what I did was I just did it that way. I'm not sure how they did it, but... Um, I'm assuming it's something like this. So that's why I cut it off and drilled a hole in the in the bottom of the head. It was so if you wanted to tilt the head in a different direction, you could before you glued it on. I ended up just gluing it on straight, but you can tip it however you want. The hat, you can obviously tip that however you want to. But it was a fun project. I We were trying to come up with something to do and she was poking around on the internet and found these and I had never seen them before. We've done a few female forms in the past. Uh, we did a ring box one with, with the natural edge skirt. That was a, a fun one, but I hadn't hadn't seen these before and it was nice. I had a little umbrella and everything with them. And they're super, it, it's a little bit time consuming, but it's pretty easy. It's just kind of basic spindle turning on it. Um, it took me, I'm going to say, just maybe over a day to, to make her all the pieces and everything. I had to wait, you know, when I glue something together, I'd have to wait an hour or so and then, then come back out and start working on it again. But it, it isn't a real difficult project. The purse, I just cut a little chunk off, a little rectangle off the thing and then sanded that to kind of make it look like a, look like a little purse. I'm trying to think of what else was in there, but it was it's just kind of a basic project. You can change the color of the woods to change the color of the dress and everything. So I think you can kind of play around with it and do do some cool stuff. But it was a fun project, and whoever if anybody knows who did it, please leave it below in the comments. Give them credit because it's awesome. I I it's a very cool idea. Um, there are a lot of female form things out there, and I've done a few of them, but I've never seen this one, and just it looks awesome. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, the music, Robin, she when she first saw it, she thought of France, and so that's why she went with the France theme, and it was really cool to be able to find that kind of music, too, to go with the project, but it was a fun one. All right. Hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you next time.